Hey folks, good morning. I wanna show you the LCAT splash that we've been camping on for the last three nights, four days. And I think we've reached a new level of evolution with Ghost Hunt in that we really haven't used a single bit of fossil fuels. We've been living on the sun and we've really gotten acquainted to life over the water. This thing is a houseboat. It's kind of like car camping. We had the battery charged when we first left, but we've been able to keep it charged because we've been running solar from the rooftops. We got a 100 watt solar panel going into the Power 1100, and then 200 watts of solar go into the battery for the motor. Beautifully elegant electric propulsion. So when we're coming in and out of the water and we're wet, we're gonna let ourselves strip off here. Everything is built with this super durable PVC inflatable material coming in past there. Uh, this is the captain's seat. Many ways to configure and enjoy this. We've been able to make our own ice all day, every day with the Ghost Sun Chilito. This little guy has had all of our food. It's pretty much empty now. We've been throwing warm beers in here. We've had a ton of food in here. It has just been so nice to rely on. We'll do you know, tea in the evening, coffee in the morning. The Ghost Sun brew has come through. That takes about 15 minutes or so to brew a cup of coffee. For making water, we've been using the Ghost Sun Flow. We needed probably about 30 gallons of water over the course of the weekend for wash, cooking, drinking. We drink a lot of water. Hey, we're purifying water using the Ghost Sun Flow coming right out of Lake Cumberland. Got a little USB powered pump, a three stage water filter, and every minute we fill up a liter pretty slick. It's been a little warm. We went through a couple 90 degree days. So we had the breeze, our air conditioning, and then our little utility closet here beneath the center console is the Power 1100, which ran the Cholito, you know, ran the fan, and also, you know, charged our phones and other devices. We've been solar cooking all of our food this trip with the GoSun Sporty, a perfect capacity for two people We've made some delicious home-cooked meals, which is usually not easy when you're camping off the grid. Rice, broccoli, sweet potatoes, and curry. Mm -hmm. Coming through, you see this giant area where we do a lot of our storage. This is the bow of the boat. This area right in front of that seat has been a great spot for storing things and keeping them out of our kind of daily work and sleep environment. You can easily access the roof. It's like a five by seven space. You can fit uh, 400 pounds or as many as four people up here. Here, let me show you the view from up here. Upwards of 12 feet up above the water. And it's just stupendous. One other thing I should point out, when the rains come, we've been able to stay completely dry on the inside thanks to these little vinyl covers. You just unclip them and let them roll out and they zip down the walls here. Uh, so that the water that hits goes flying off the boat and doesn't hit the floor. It's shockingly well designed. We've got a little bit of ventilation at the bottom, but all of our tarps are doing an extremely good job. So that's basically how we've been able to thrive on our little houseboat here out in the middle of Lake Cumberland over the last three days. Three nights, four days, I guess it is. And we could keep going. We just have to get back to work. Thanks for checking out the LCAT Splash. We hope you enjoy the ride.